out here with my good friend Mark, who uh, has these two beautiful, beautiful horses here. Red Arabians. <laughs> this is my seven-year-old, and her mother's right over there. Gorgeous horses. And so we're just hanging out here with them, giving them some exercise. And uh, Mark is uh, the author of a, an awesome book called The Horse Listener. And... Uh, I'll link it down in the description. It's a great book, a really awesome book about uh, it's about a journey of a, a man and uh, developing a relationship with a horse, right? Yeah, that not only that is a developing a relationship after it had a bad relationship. Yeah. <clears throat> in other words, it did it wrong. Yeah. I, I did it wrong for so many years, and then having a big epiphany. You know, that epiphany was going from a really strong do it or else type of attitude to something where I totally changed to where now it's a spiritual connection, you know. See, I was a truck driver for many, many years. And once I had a big thing, a big change in my life, um, I was very depressed. And as I came out of that big depression, I realized that I had changed that attitude of mine of being really, you know, um, controlling and all that sort of thing. And I had a really special Arabian stallion. He was fabulous, he was from Europe. And he helped me change into uh, the horseman that I am now. And I guess I could say that is when you get in touch with these horses, you start listening to them and start of, you know, just really looking at their um, their body language. You, you see what they're saying, literally you feel that. So the book talks about that and how that changed. And also it goes, it goes to where the many times that maybe you might have a, a big uh, problem in your life and you put yourself down. It tells the story about how first the horses learn how to forgive you and then as a result of that they teach you how to forgive yourself. And the book goes literally through a friend of mine's experience over to the Middle East riding out in the desert getting lost and then finding the sheik and then the sheik ultimately gifts him with a filly. This filly here is the character for that filly that I was talking about. And she was a gift from someone else also. So my book teaches people how to partner with the horses and also helps you to understand really how if you change the way of being, the way that you are with people, the way you are with horses, you communicate just almost instantly. The nature of horses is really important to understand first. Once you understand them, you empathize with them, and you become totally different. You don't have to worry about them, you know, submitting to you anymore. You're, you're developing a partnership. They do it because they want to. I've got a website that uh, I have a blog on there. It talks about a really nice articles of, about horsemanship, different uh, ailing of horses and maladies of horses and all that, and experiences that I've had in what's the, the horse world. What's the website? What's the website is www.mark M Hanna, H A N N A dot com. Super passionate guy, Mark. I, I met him down in Arizona working with horses uh, at a at a boys ranch down there, and just had you know I was only only there at the same time as him for about four months or something yeah. like that, and and in that in that time, you know I, I I just fed off of the passion that Mark has for for horses in general and and for life. Uh, the book is is based off of. A lot of true stories so go check out the book link is in the description to the website where you can find the book all of that stuff um, we're gonna hang out with these girls for another hour or so